Did you do it again? Do what? Oh, look, you know, arrange the string lights to show our next step, did you? Guess I'll have to turn them on and see. Yes! No, no, I, I tripped again. You'd think I'd move that cord. Three, two, one. Press play. I'm Emma. And I'm Jay. Welcome to Press Play. Emma, why is it so hard to be brave? Hmm, uh, maybe because there are so many things to be scared of? Like what? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Things to be scared of. Hmm. Uh, here we go. Okay. Um, acrophobia. That's a uh, fear of heights. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> There's arachnophobia. Fear of spiders. Aw. He's kind of cute. <laughs> There's odophyophobia. Mm, that's fear of snakes. Hmm. Squirmy. Wiggly. Scaly. I love it. There's astrophobia. That's fear of weather. Hmm. Oh, bring on the rain. Wow, awesome, Jay. There's social phobia. Hmm, what's that? It's fear of what people think of us. Oh. No, not at all. That's not a problem. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm not afraid of what people think of me. Should I be? I know I can be a little much. What? What have you heard? Have you heard something? Please, tell me. Tell me! Whoa, Jay! I wonder where we can go and learn about being brave. You thinking what I am? Why? What do you think people would think if I'm not thinking what you're thinking? Would it be okay? What if I am? What will they say? Jay, chill. Let's do this. Three, Three two, one, press play! play. Oh! Where are we? Hmm. I'm usually the one who asks that, which basically means we're out there. Really out there. You sure are. Boo. Welcome to Borgon. Hi. Um, hi. Thanks. Do you mind if I ask, who are you? And, and what or where is Borgon? Oh, yeah, great question. I'm Jen, the alien. Really? You're an alien? I know, I know. Everyone expects like a million tentacles and stuff like that, all kinds of eyes, but nope. Here I am, just me, Jen the alien. Oh. <laughs> cool. Borgon is a planet. Don't worry about where. That explanation would include light years and black holes and certain Taco Bell bathrooms. I knew it! Anyway, you're here. And just in time. You're Jay, right? Uh, yeah? Awesome. We've been waiting for you. All the Borgonians have gathered to hear you. Tell them all you know about the human species. Especially this Jesus guy that we hear so much about. What? Me? Why? Uh, I'm not sure. Borgonians always have their reasons. Anyway, you ready? No! Jay, you got this! Well, well what's wrong? Uh, what, what, what if I don't know what to say? What if I can't say anything? What if, what if, what if, what if? Oh, wow. This reminds me of a story that I read in a book that I got from one of you Earthlings. It's called the, the Bible? The, B the Bible? The Bible? The Bible, Bible yeah. The story came from a book inside of the book. <laughs> Confusing much? The book was called Acts. Yeah, Acts, chapter six. An alien named Jen is about to teach us a Bible story. This is just a regular press play day, I guess. Have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that you're seated, the number of people following this Jesus guy was growing fast. Jesus' original friends needed help to take care of all the needs of everyone. So, they chose seven more people to help feed those who were being overlooked. One of them was named Stefan. St 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 Stefan? Stephen. I like that name. W was he an alien? Not that I know of, but he was a special guy. The Bible says he, in Acts 6 through 5, he was a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit. Sounds a bit overqualified to be serving food. Yeah, he kind of was. And he couldn't hide it. In Acts 6, 8, it says he performed great wonders and signs among the people. This made him popular with some, but very unpopular with others. Like who? The members of the synagogue, for one. These were like the smartest of the smart people. And they didn't like people like Stephen because he challenged their power over the people. But when they argued with Stephen, the Holy Spirit made him brave. 
and gave them words to say that they couldn't refute. Wow, cool. Yeah, but they didn't give up. They hired people to say bad, untrue things about Stephen. So he was brought before the Sanhedrin. This was like the highest court, and he had to defend himself. CJ makes standing in front of some curious Borgonians seem kind of not that bad, huh? I guess. Well, what did Stephen say? Again, the Holy Spirit made him brave and gave him the words. He was a man who was called to serve food standing in front of the Sanhedrin. They wouldn't like what he had to say because it would go against the way they did things. But he knew what we should know too. When the time comes, we can take a big step. The Holy Spirit makes us brave. Oh, that's the big idea alarm. Jay won't be able to talk with the Borgonians. Yeah, and I was totally ready to take that big step. Hey, you still can. Borgon time can stop and start. I'll stop it now while you give your speech. The big idea alarm will still be going off when I start it again later. Ready? Let's do it. Huh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Jay, you were incredible. It wasn't me. It was the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit made me brave. Time started again. Oh. Whoa. Jen the Alien, would you want to do the press play secret handshake with us? Sure, sounds good. Whoa! Whoa. Where are you going? The Taco Bell bathroom. I must know the truth. Well, in review, we pressed play and made our way to the planet Borgon. There, we met the surprisingly normal alien, Jen. She shared with us about Acts chapter 6 and how the Holy Spirit made Stefan brave to share a message about Jesus. How can you trust the Holy Spirit to make you brave today? Take that big step! And now it's time to... Drop, drop the, the verse. verse! Oh, what time is it, Emma? I think it's time to drop the verse. Already? Oh, I can't wait for this scripture. Here we go! Let Here me hear it, let me hear it, let me hear it. The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hand. Psalm 19 1. Psalm 19 1. The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hand. Psalm 19 1. Psalm 19 1. The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hand. Psalm 19 1. Oh! Psalm 19 1. 